we can also calculate a confidence interval for a correlation coefficient. So remember what a confidence interval is. We have this large population that we'd like to get the correlation coefficient for, but we can't get the entire population. So we take a sample and we calculate the correlation coefficient between two variables using this sample. And that becomes an estimate for the actual correlation coefficient for the entire population. If the 95% confidence interval contains zero, then we can't rule out the possibility that there is no relationship between the two variables with 95% certainty. If the 95% confidence interval does not contain zero, then we can be 95% sure that there is some relationship between the two variables. When you're using confidence intervals, what you want to see is a, a correlation coefficient that's strong, so greater than 0.5, and you want to see a confidence interval for that correlation coefficient that has a minimum value greater than 0.5. Now remember, since R can be negative as well as positive, that means you'd like something where a confidence interval where the left side is greater than 0 0.5 or where the right side is less than negative 0 0.5. So another way of thinking about this, here's a 95% confidence interval that doesn't include 0 and is greater than 0. Here's a 95% percent confidence interval that's less than zero and doesn't span zero. 